Um, anyways, uh, didn't we have some other stuff we were to talk about? We did. Do you remember? That one? Oh, yeah. So, a brief thing I want to bring up is that, um, so a, a fan skinned their Nintendo Switch to look like the Super Famicom, which, it looks fantastic. Oh, they did, it looks they did, phenomenal. They did it through the, the Switch itself and the dock. So, like, everything is skinned. The Joy-Cons, oh, yeah. the, the, even the border, you know, the, that, that black border yeah. is, yep. is even skinned. Um, you know, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, but this guy just ruined his Switch. <laughs> yeah. For those who don't know, D Brand put out there that you cannot stick anything on your Switch. And D Brand is the number one skin maker in the world. They make skins for everything. You want to find a skin for that G502 Logitech mouse I have? They have it. Yeah. They, they make skins for literally. I can probably find a skin for this microphone. They make skins for everything. If not, you can probably suggest it and they might. And they have various it. types of skins. Yeah. And they discovered that any adhesive material applied to the Switch. Once you try to remove that adhesive material, it actually rips micro pieces of the switch with it. Um, we're not talking just paint chips here. Mm-hmm. Pieces of the plastic come off. Yeah. Um, and it obviously the switch is still playable. I mean, um, yeah. well, when I talk about ruin the switch, they're like, "Oh my god, it breaks it," but it harms the system. Let's put it that way. I know some people are like, oh, I'm skinning it and I'm never taking the skin off. Skins wear off eventually. They're oh, stickers. Yeah. yeah. So they eventually wear off and you're going to want to take it off and replace it. And I understand, you know, you replace it, you skin back over it, you don't think it's a big deal. But personally, anything that you put on a product that cannot be safely removed without without damaging the product, let's put it that way, um, as cool as it is, I would not do it. I would rather hear that this person painted the system to look like the Super Famicom than hear that he skinned it with stickers. Um, anyways, it looks really cool. I'll have pictures up in the background. Maybe I'll put one in front on the video version so you oh, guys... Yeah. Yeah, so it, like, it, it looks look fantastic. fantastic. I don't blame people yeah, for, yeah, wanting for sure. to, wanting to skin stuff. I mean, D-Brand, if you ever want to sponsor us, I would love to skin a bunch of my stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, it's always one of those things that the very first thing I see every time someone's like, look at this cool Switch skin. It's like... God damn it. I want it, but it ruins the Switch. I, I can't do it. it, it I, I can't do it. Whatever plastic they used, whatever they did in the fabrication process on this, it is not friendly to that kind of stuff. I'm sure the right, actual yeah. stuff they put on the Switch is fine because it's metal. Yeah, right. So whatever yeah. stuff they put on yeah. the borders is probably fine. Yeah. But the stuff on the Joy-Cons and everything, no. Yep. No. I mean, the stuff they put on even on the on the dock, dock it's probably no. How about no? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah. So, Yeah. I know, guys, it looks cool, but if you see the skin out there, please, please do not skin your systems, your Switches. Not until Nintendo releases a version of the Switch that gets thoroughly tested by a professional company and they deem this skew of this system is now able. Like, if D-Brand is like, yeah, we'll, we'll start making the skins for the Switch because they changed the fabrication process and we don't have an issue anymore. Okay. Yeah. But until then, don't do it. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it hurts me knowing that you're going to be hurting your system. And yes, I know you can buy new Joy-Cons. I know you can buy a new dock. You really yeah. want to invest two hundred dollars every time you want to reskin something, <laughs> right? Like, no. Yeah, Who yeah, no, no. Um, was there anything else we wanted to talk about? Um, I thought we had one other story at least. Again, my printer malfunctioning makes me not have my paperwork. Yeah, right, printer. right, right. Um, I don't know. Here's the here's the list that I had. Yeah, that's the list you had. I don't know if there was anything else on that list. Um, where's your web browser? Chrome. Yay, sporting goods. You don't mind if I change it, do you? No, go ahead. There was, there was just one story at a, web, at a site I saw that I wanted to talk about. I oh, think it yeah. had to do with the Rainmaker app. Oh, I might help I enter the right name of the site. So there's this app. I think it's called Rainmaker. I'll confirm in a second. Uh, coming out for Nintendo Switch, or at least planned to release for Nintendo Switch, that allows PC streaming. So essentially you can stream. This is exciting. For me, especially with, with my gaming rig. Yeah. I could run a game on my computer and stream it to my Switch and play it on my Switch. In my house. Yeah. Yeah. In theory, you could do it over Wi-Fi anywhere. But right. you probably but only yeah. could do it in your house on right. the same network. Um, it is called... Oh, let me see. Is that it? Nope, that's Hey Pikmin. We talked about Rhyme. Oh, another fun thing about Rhyme, even though we're off that topic. The price in Australia did not change. <laughs> yeah. Changed everywhere else in the world. But Sorry, Australia. Australia. Sorry. Yeah, you guys just get screwed on everything, I swear. I don't know if $10 would have even made a big difference considering it's $79 over there. Um, oh, where is that Where is that story now? 
It was on page one. <laughs> Anyways, there's this app coming out. I, I, I'm really mad that I can't find the name of it. Anyways, there's, a, there's this app coming out that lets you stream PC stuff to your PC games. Um, in theory, you might be able to stream Netflix and stuff from your PC. To this. Now, I'm hoping they eventually have native apps for this stuff, for Netflix or whatever. Yeah, right, right. But yeah. Um, this essentially, for everyone out there that's like, oh, my, you know, Switch is only Nintendo games. Or like, oh, I like what Sony used to do with the Vita where you can stream PlayStation 4 games to the Vita. Guess what? I can stream PC games to my Switch someday. <laughs> So I'll have, right. so you could argue that I'll have the entire Nintendo library plus the entire library of my PC making this the number one gaming system in the history of gaming systems. There is that. <laughs> it's just a really cool thing. Um, and obviously, no one thought Nintendo was going to go along with it. They contacted Nintendo, and Nintendo got back to them with what they are calling good news. <laughs> um, nothing officially announced yet, but they're saying that it was good news from Nintendo. And when you hear that was good news, it means this thing's happening. This right. Rainmaker yeah, right. or whatever the app is, it's coming out. Yeah. It might have to cost money. I have, I have no idea. Right. But it's going but to come out on Switch, and you're going to be able to stream PC games to your Switch. Now, it'll, it'll be even cooler, like, using my Joy-Cons. Like, oh, my God. This will be awesome. Yeah. Can you imagine Majesty oh, yeah. on your Switch? Oh, uh, yeah. Age of Especially if they can ma- map it to, to touch controls. Yeah. Age of Empires? Or even map it to these controls. Age of Empires on here. Um, you know, e- even, like, you want to go some of the newer Total War games that come out. Yeah. You know, the Warhammer one and all that stuff. Like, dude, being able to play PC games on here is phenomenal. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know how well it'll work, but I- I've done some, sh- some in-home streaming between my Xbox and my PC before, and it worked pretty well. So... I think it should work fine with the Switch, in theory, assuming the connection is strong enough with the network. But, um, dude, I'm, I'm just literally holding my Switch right now, imagining playing PC games on it. And that just tickles my fancy hardcore. Now, obviously, the better gaming system you have, the better the game's going to be. And it's obviously never going to run on the screen, at least, more than 720p or on docked mode 1080p um, or 60 FPS. You're not going to get higher than that. But, man... The idea that that's like like that just excites me so much, and that's not a surprise because the Tegra Echo, oh, you just had it, Rainway. There we go. Not Rainmaker. Rainway is is the company that's making the app for the Switch. So, yeah, it's. I'm excited. Like this legit has me like man. <clears throat> Nintendo, and if Nintendo, if the good, if it's good news from Nintendo, that means Nintendo's allowing it. Like it's not like you have to hack your system to get around it to get this app. No, Nintendo's going to allow this thing to probably officially exist on their eShop store. That's awesome. That's crazy. That's Nintendo being like, hey, we embrace it. Some people want to do this. Why would we stop it? It adds value to our system. Uh, again, it kind of goes back to what we were talking about last segment. Where guess what? It adds value. Why are we going to stop it? Or as Nintendo likes to say with their creators program, we're not going to stop it. We just want 30%. Yeah. And it's like, no, Nintendo. It's it, it, The thing is with the creators program, getting back to that for a moment, it's not even that I hate that they want 30%. It's that you have to go through a manual approval process. As I said, it takes days. Mm-hmm. The link content for days, that's dumb. Mm-hmm. Say I have a news report about E3 and I wanted to put some footage of Super Mario Odyssey in there. I didn't. Because I knew I would have to wait three days to get the video up. And now I'm three days late. Well, yeah, that's that's the thing. How are they going to do this during, like, actual news events? Where Boy, people like me aren't going to put video game footage in. Pretty simple. Yeah. Now, I will say, people might wonder, oh, how can Game Explain get away with it? Those channels, once you reach a certain size, are behind. They, they, have, a, they have a company in front of them. Um, they're represented by a different company that does take a cut of the money. A significantly smaller cut than Nintendo ones, it's something like five percent or ten percent. Um, and what they do is they provide like a gateway to your content being blocked. So if Nintendo throws out blanketed content ID claims through their automated system, it doesn't affect people who are behind these companies. Um, for Nintendo to go after a game explain video, they would have to manually go in and file a real legit legal claim, and they can. Mm-hmm. And they can get it approved, and it does create a strike. And the strike doesn't just affect the channel, it affects the entire network. Um, which is what these companies' big risk is, where if we're going to protect this channel from Nintendo making claims, 
we need to feel that Nintendo's not going to release a copyright strike manually because if they do that, it hit, hits the whole channel and they could demonetize the entire network. Mm-hmm. Which that would, I mean, that could affect millions of people. Like that's just not good. But again, Nintendo has not shown any willingness to go individually in and manually file strikes. So because of this, because Nintendo's only using the automated system, Game Explain protected behind a network doesn't have to worry about it. They actually don't get copyright strikes on anything they do. They can put up any content they want. They don't get copyright strikes, um, mm-hmm. at least from Nintendo. So like when yeah. you see same day trailers, and you know even within minutes, the trailer that you just saw on the Nintendo Direct is up on Game Explain. They can do that and make money off it because they have a network protecting them. Um, we're not big enough. I've already tried to get in some networks. We're just not big enough, um, especially because you don't want to get into the the little dinky networks because they have no power. They yeah, don't really protect right, right. you. They claim they do, but they really don't. Yeah. You want to get into a legit network, and, and we're, I don't know, 80,000 subscribers away from you thinking about being yeah. in a network like that. So, yes, yeah, so eventually we might be able to get around it, but I shouldn't have to. Right. <laughs> I shouldn't have to get around it, right? Um, and also the network's payback is supposed to be like they help you gain subscribers and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I've never been in one of these networks, so I'm not 100% sure how they work. I, I just yeah. know that this still sucks. But, yeah. uh yeah, Rainway. It's going to be... Yeah. I, I am thrilled to... A, anything that adds value to the system that even if only a small percentage of people are going to use, it's still just cool. Just the ability to stream PC games. I mean, the the fact that if I can map my buttons to work properly, I could be playing World of Warcraft on my Switch in my bed. Yeah, right. Might actually make me re-up my subscription to World of Warcraft. Yeah? This is... I mean, I don't... <laughs> I even have enough buttons to cast all my spells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 2 clicks, 11, 12. Well, if I can throw the minus, plus a minus in there. I'm Because you got to do the whole button alone. Yeah. Um, you can you can throw in the, uh, in theory, the uh, screenshot button. Or, 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 you know, because yeah, on your keyboard, any, any, any MMO player knows this. You hold a shift modifier. So L, modify, plus buttons. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, there is enough for, for me to play my priest. Now, how I would target individual players, I have no idea. I've never actually tried to play World of Warcraft with a controller before. Yeah. I don't even know if you can, Yeah, to be honest. but You, might, you, have, you might have to take Maybe I have to tap. Or, or I have to get my raid frames up and then tap. Yeah. Either tap that, away. Either that, or tap it's going to be one of those that you motion control. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Okay, then I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> not, not playing World of Warcraft that way. No, I should actually well, try. Game. I should game. actually try World of Warcraft and see if I can map a controller to it and actually target people to heal. Because I think it's it's probably fine if you're a DPS dude where you just target the bad guy and, and hit him. Right. Yeah, yeah. But like, I I'm a healer, so I, I really need to be able to like when I'm in a raid, I might I need to target 24 different, well, 25. I count myself different people. Yeah. So it's like. I, I kind of need to make that easy, and how I do it on yeah. there is I have I have everything mapped to my mouse, and I have a raid frame, and I have an add-on for it, and then I just click their name, and whatever button I hit when I clicked on them controls everything. I cast everything with my mouse, uh-huh. so like whatever whatever name I click on, that's who gets healed. Or whatever group I click on, that's who gets healed. If it's a group heal, unless it's one I have to put on the ground like an AOE heal, and yeah. I don't know how they could do that on here. I mean, I guess button press tap. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, the thing is, I've. I'm sure there's people out there who have played World of War Warcraft with a controller. I'm not one of them, so I, right. should, I should probably talk to them and figure out, oh, yeah, how right, does this right, work from a healer? Yeah. I see how it works for, for damage people. How does it work as right, a healer? Right, definitely. Um, anyways, sorry. Getting off a little... Side I was like, actually, it's not even a sidetrack, because yeah. that, th- this is like Rainway. I mean, that's the reality of what I could be thinking about, yeah, is, right. is how can I play games that weren't built for controllers on here with a controller? Right. You know, And obviously games that, that like Payday 2 on, P- on PC, obviously that works with the controller fine. Mm-hmm. I can put that on here. Well, it's going to be in coming theory, here, too. But. I have The Witcher 3 on my PC. I could be playing The Witcher 3 on my Switch. Yeah. I just realized yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, CD Projekt Red won't support the Switch? <laughs> I'm playing your game on here anyways, baby. Right, right. You might as well release it natively, and I'll probably buy it all over again. <laughs> right, exactly. At that yeah, at that point in time, companies might actually release games for it. Because... Maybe. Why not? Maybe. Maybe. Or those for the PC saying, well, if you want to play it on your Switch so bad, just buy it. Download yeah. that app. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you never know. It could, it, one of two ways. So, 
I mean, it does suck that you have to be tied to your Wi-Fi network. That's always going to be a, kind of a pain. And you know what's going to make me want to do? I'm going to end up going around my neighborhood, like all the way out to Stilson, and installing little Wi-Fi extensions <laughs> all, all the way out to right. my other job, like right. two miles away. Yeah. And just so the, that entire two-mile stretch, is, I'll just go for walks on the same path every time. And right. Just, just right. play PC games on my thing. There you go. With full internet access. There you go. Whenever they allow me to browse the internet on you. There you oh, go. Oh, Nintendo wants this to be truly portable, baby. All yeah, right. Yeah, right. Um, all right, or you know, when the eventual five G comes out, have that supported oh, officially yeah. in here, and then I can just stream from anywhere. There you go. Um, there you go. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I think that's gonna do it for this okay. week's podcast. Uh, on that note, I'm gonna go pick myself out of myself. <laughs> oh my I sat this whole entire thing with that wedgie. I swear, if you had some wet stuff going on, and now it's all over my chair, I'm oh yeah, in the face. Oh, definitely. Um. <sighs> Anyways, so, oh, yes, I had so, this water prepared this whole time. You drank your whole one. I didn't have any. Yeah. My first sip, folks. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So for those audio people, I recommend go ahead and watch at least the first, what, two minutes? Yeah, about two first two minutes. Yeah. Little, little Eric, he's bigger than me, got a wedgie. Yeah. Um, because I defeated him in Puyo Puyo Tetris. Yeah. Um, I, I think what this also means, though, is that for the next challenge, you get to decide what game it is, and you get to decide what the punishments are. Yeah. Because I got to decide this time around, and I feel like i got to pass some of the responsibility off. Otherwise, oh. it's always going to be something that favors me, because that's the way I'm thinking. Well, yeah, right, but... Like, like, yeah. like we were talking before, like, oh, Madden, because yeah. you're better at that, but, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah, right, right. You know, you decide what the chal- challenge is. Maybe you think you're better at me than Mario Kart, so you got to... Yeah. got to throw, like, throw a Grand Prix challenge in there or <laughs> Right, something. right, yeah. Um... Whatever you decide. I, I yeah. shouldn't be giving you ideas because right. I'm like, hmm, hmm, Mario Kart. Like, yeah, right. Like, wait, right. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. if i got to delay that video five days, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll just live stream it. Yeah, right. Yeah, there you go. Um, but anyways. Yeah. Uh, I'm obviously Nintendo Ruffle Jets, the owner of Nintendo Prime. This is Eric Moore. And, uh, yeah, if you like this podcast, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe, follow. Go follow us on what, Twitter and Facebook and wherever the heck else we are. I don't know. I'm ready for this in the wrap up. Yeah, right. It's time to go have tell some, your tell your friends. Time to eat. I'm hungry. Time yeah. time to have, have some food. Play some games. Get some sleep. Have a good one, folks. Yeah. Later. <laughs>